All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Scarlet Nexus. Let's continue on to phase. <laughs> I forget, is it four or five? I don't know, but I'm um... so tired. I want to see my sister. So you in the Seto's future plan. last episode. What's it doing here? Naomi, Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Is something important. Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, y yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden. Are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <sighs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh, I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone. Set those fountain pen. Uh, glimpse, future 50 years from now. Entrusted with assassination of Yuito. Without an answer, stay emergency. And this is when you get to see Yuito's father die. It's too quiet. Maybe the rebel OSF and the Seiron garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sainet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. I'll do my best to find out what's going on, so hide somewhere until then. Kyoka, Kasane. Did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. It looks like we can't do that, though. Not sure any after, though. We can. Oh my god, I can do my bit. <laughs> Time to warm up. Oh, I can double myself, too. Didn't I know that? Unless I just came with it when I got bond level up high enough or something. Because I'm the work. most OP thing in the game, for sure. Knows it. There might be more. Be careful. This is where we found Nagi. As you return. Kagero? Ah, Kagero. Getting ready for it. What is it? Did you see Kagero? Yes. I saw him turn invisible and run to the OSF headquarters. Did he? We were fighting others. So there's no way he could have missed us. He might have been running from us. Why would Kagero run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Hmm. The OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. I don't know if we can track him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. Weren't we told to hide? With others in the city, the only places we can hide are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along the way. That should help the citizens a little. All right then. Kagero should be with Yuito and the others, right? He might be on oh, Karin's yeah. side. Regardless, we'll know if we catch him and ask him. Thank goodness. We have to fight all these guys, bro. Sure, we don't have to fight Nagi here, right? That'd be weird. What? The city's vision all went out at once. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions, so if you shut it down, 
everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer-generated signs. So this is what duds say. Duds? What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Sayrond. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's no way. Then why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? OSF? I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the rebellion too? What do you mean by that? We were attacked by psionics on that road over there. Only rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait, were you the only ones attacked? No, Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. Ah! Hmm. Hold them! They know about the Metamorphosis experiments! Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about Metamorphosis. And if he doesn't die here, maybe we can avoid that ruinous future. Maybe. Up on my own now, green. Yeah, we made it. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, Kagura, what you doing, brother? Oh, we already know what he's doing. He's doing his mission or whatever. Blondie. Chairman Sumeragi? Yes. The OSF. That's... Togetsu. This wound... It's too late. Wait, don't die! Can New Himuka turn people into others? I... Can't... Tell you. So yes, I can. I'm serious! Answer me! It's too late for me anyway. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Kasane? She was gonna try and stab him, but nope. Alright. <gasps> Yuito. <gasps> Dad. Oh yeah, we have to fight him here. Kasane, <laughs> are you okay? Oh. Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. Hmm. Right. I'm here, so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Yeah, bye. You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? I dodged that. You don't need to understand. Die. Okay. Calm down, Kasane. Think this through. Were you actually trying to kill Yuito? Hey, answer me. If I leave here now, the future will change. Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. 
Please, stop! The chairman has already... No. I shouldn't think about that. I need to focus on killing you, too. I'll be pursued for the assassination of the chairman. If I let him go now, I might not get another chance. By any means! Dennis. <laughs> yeah, because Lani is literally the freaking most annoying character to go up against if they're doing close range combat. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I guess it won't be that easy. I'm not getting anywhere like this. If I use the brain field, then I could definitely get Yuito. Yes, yeah, not so easy I should be able to do it. I have to now. I want to protect the world to save my sister. I'll do whatever I need to do that. I will kill him. Wait, this is different. We turned into, ah, interesting. Okay. I thought Yurito was going to be the one to go into brain damage or whatever. This is different. <laughs> so, I'm Kasani, so we actually kill him. No bad. Sorry has changed, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's see what happens. Wait, could this be Kasane's brain field? I'll finish this quickly. Why? You have to die. That's the only solution I know. Oh boy. Die, die, die! I'm like a sign zone that's out of control. Yeah. <laughs> 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 even for a level 50 like me, I can't even kill him this quickly. I'm not done yet. Oh, he's in his end. He's level 28! <laughs> and I saw him do that much damage. Yeah, he doesn't matter, huh? Kasane, what's happening to you? This isn't good. The power level is rising so high, it's getting to the point where it can't be controlled. It's too dangerous, Kasane! Close the brain field, now! Oh, I did not. I only had two seconds left. <laughs> okay, so we're still fine. I feel sick. Didn't kill him. It's like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field? <laughs> Kasane! I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane... Did you stab my father? Wait, what's this? Miss Karin. Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Sheedan if you want to escape. Hmm. Oh, man. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with sign it. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock 
Warlock, born to be used by the state. Nukimuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey! Kasane's getting away! Wait! Wait! Wake up, citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Ceyron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceyron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control. A revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Kagero, you're from Togetsu and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Did Togetsu order you? I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, alright? Yes. Kagero, don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on to you. I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. I'm interested in and... Sorry, Kasane, for making you the fall guy. I didn't do it on purpose. For real. Forget that. Why did you assassinate Chairman Sumeragi? I can't believe someone from Togetsu would trust Seiron. Don't ask me. I just did what I was told. Maybe it's because my power is suited for assassination. Yeah, your power is good for assassination. I finally found you. Karin! Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Seiron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh? You two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... so what are you all going to do? I... I planned to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn, to be honest, you really pissed me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. 
All right. Then I'm going to Seiron, too. We'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. All this for Naomi. Alright, well that was fast. Phase 5 in Seiron City on its inner world on the map. We got two bombs. Three. You never know what life will throw at you. Seriously. Maybe I'll call myself Lazy Kyoka. Nice. Then we can call it Lazy Platoon. <laughs> nice. I don't really want to say this, but considering the known facts, I thought points. you were suited for wet work. I never thought you'd actually use it that way. Well, what can I say? If the shoe fits... You killed Yuito's father. How can you joke about it? Because I'm a bastard. And bastards do bastardly things. To Kasane as Chairman Sumeragi's assassin, she'd be more than welcome in Siren. I know I sound pretentious saying this, but I think my invisibility will be pretty useful in the future, even more so after everything that happened. Happy to be of service. You may be shocked by my sudden to my sudden message, but I would like to ask you about Car and Travers. They're both fighting on different fronts now, but I was hoping you would meet at Musabi's. I meet. Uh, can you come to Musabi's? Much happened. I was hoping we could talk. I hope you. Reply. I'd love to let you rest a little more, Kasani, but I'm sorry. I wish I could have given you more time. You haven't rested either, Kyoka. Aren't you headaches? Uh, getting worse. I, I appreciate the concern, but I've had these headaches for a long time now. I'm used to them. The more people that say they're fine, the sure I am I am they're not. It's really not good to ignore chronic headaches. <laughs> You're so concerned today, Arashi. You're right. I'll go see your doctor next time. Alright, let's talk to Luca here. I think you'll probably know more about Karin than I do. If you want to meet, I don't mind. Let's meet. Also, let's forget our current situation. We'll just talk. It'll be complicated. Okay, then worry about who's on what side. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, 
Let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. You are also from two Chaeyoung family. It's only my brother and I, so that is a small thing we have in common. Naomi and my brother are certain different types. She seemed to care for her sister very much. But her does care about me in his own way. Does he thanks a current vacuum before? Like it was nothing. That's a pretty strange way to show affection. <laughs> well, I suppose there are many kinds of brothers and sisters. Alright, Hanabi. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to you. Now, there are things I want to say to you too. Oh, Kasane. How are you? I'm fine. You'll go right too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not alright. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is or where he's going. Hey, don't insult me. I would never betray him. I am. Uh, I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves, not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. I'm going home. Hanabi? Mm. Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I, get I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Congratulations, you lost a friend. Come on, did she block us? Nope. I never thought this uh, is how we end up going back to Suo. Bond episode, alright. Damn it! Shiden? What are you doing? Kasane! I'm not doing anything. If you're trying to hide it, why don't you go somewhere people can't see? It's <laughs> hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll. What? How long have you been watching? A while. What's the point of this? I don't need to be bossed around by you. This is just small talk. We're teammates. Don't teammates talk like this? Small talk? Okay, fine. This is called Baki. 
I know that. Naomi liked it too. My parents pushed it on me because it's popular. It's completely not my taste. Then why do you have it? It's your fault. Huh? <laughs> because I lost you one on one. My parents are trying to cheer me up. You told your family you lost? Of course not. When I didn't reply for a while, they probably figured out what happened. They've been messaging me non-stop ever since. They even sent me this doll. They probably think I like it. But that's just added pressure. That's why I don't want to reply. And just looking at the message notifications ticks me. So you were taking it out on the doll? Yeah. You got a problem with that? I think that's better than taking it out on the people around you. Oh. So you weren't making fun of me? Ugh. What was that sound? How are you doing? We haven't heard from you, so we've been worried. Your mother and father are always on your side. <laughs> your mother knows just how strong you are, little Shiden. <laughs> Do your best and don't lose. I can't wait to hear from you. See you soon. Nay, nice. she cares. Did you see that? No. I'm sorry, but I did. She's a good mom. <laughs> These are the types of messages she keeps sending me. I'm a grown man now, but she keeps treating me like a kid. You actually messaged through the terminal? They pushed it on me. I mean, we can directly receive transmissions through the brain, but they want to go through all this trouble. I don't understand why you're so resistant. You don't like being encouraged by your family? I'm grateful, but sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's some things you just can't accomplish no matter how much they expect you to. So when they keep telling me to do my best, it feels like they're blaming my inadequacy. You're so immature. What did you say? Ever since I was adopted into the Randall family, I've never received a single word of encouragement from my parents. I don't mean to compare our lives, and I can't say who's better off. But from where I stand, you're loved and truly blessed. I would even say I'm jealous. I'm sorry for saying all those things without thinking about your situation. Still, my family's encouragement stresses me out. My parents will praise me no matter how spectacularly I fail. That's no way to measure my abilities. I need to be acknowledged by an objective third party if I'm going to improve. You're not satisfied being loved by your family? I don't understand why you work so hard just to be acknowledged. Of course you don't. You're the one who won. So I'm just inferior. I trained so hard for years. And it resulted in a pathetic loss to a rookie. I know you must be laughing at me behind my back. I'm not. I just don't understand why you need the approval of others. If you explain it to me, I'll try my best to understand. You want to understand? That's what I'm telling you. Huh. I'm busy. I'm not obligated to explain anything to you. He has a lot on his mind. I'll need to talk to him more if I'm going to understand him. I had no idea communicating with people was so hard. Well, he's just a little bit angry. Let's get all. one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. Rashi machine is uh, in the way. I told her, but she won't do anything. Let's say you move it. <laughs> Why not she move it yourself? Delicate machinery and I don't mix. Electrokinesis users like me can short circuit machines if we don't control our power well. Kind of stuff only happened when I was a kid. Don't want to deal with it if it brings. I'll do it myself. I don't want you to think I can't control myself. Oh, yeah, you got that, bro. All i is we can't go back to soon. We can call this home for the time being. I will always. Oh, well, anyways. What got you so angry? How about a smile? Just consider it a little bit of bad luck. Okay, what he has to say. Yo, Kasane! Coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on! What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. 
how about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been? Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. <laughs> Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes. I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself, but we've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just, I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. I've got to maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? <laughs> then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. <laughs> okay. Let's take this slow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kagura. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although, I could be reading into it too much. I wanted to really talk to you. Your weapon is basically a knife. That's something we have in common. A knife plus something like yours. Finding signs are totally different anyways. You're cold even over text. I suppose my ID is my knife while I'm invisible. I dance like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Though you can't see me. I think there's something two knife users can learn from each other now. Let's talk about it. Alright, well then, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one on phase six. Sorry, got to say, Ron. Since we're allied up with Karin now, and probably see how we heal. Uh, Naomi, so yeah, peace out.